Only a government agency could get away with that. Only a government agency could get away with that. Listen to what we heard them say about the vaccines given to pregnant women at, oh, by the way, let's show the posters, first of all, so everyone knows what we're talking about. When, you're at a, when you go to Walmart or Walgreens, you see these posters up. Protection during pregnancy. It begins during pregnancy. Make sure to get your flu shot. Make sure to get your Tdap vaccine. CDC says, CDC says it's really important if you want to really protect your baby and you didn't know that the World Health Organization, they're all sitting around saying, we don't have any idea how pregnancy works, what vaccines might do. It's also the subject population that you administer the adjuvant to, because we've seen data presented to us where an adjuvant, a particular adjuvant added to a vaccine antigen did really nothing when administered to a certain population. and. It's usually the elderly, you know, compared to, to administering the same formulation to, to younger age strata. So, so these are things which uh, need to be considered as well and further complicate safety and effectiveness evaluation of adjuvants combined with vaccine antigens. Look what we saw them say. This is the guy at the CDC at the ACIP meetings that actually deals with the lawsuits against vaccines. That's the HRSA program underneath Health and Human Services. Listen to him describe what we should be telling people about the use of vaccines in pregnant women. Dr. Sun. Yeah, I just want to make a clarification on the use of vaccines in pregnancy. Unless there is a study of that vaccine in pregnant women, uh, even though that age indication you know, uh, may fall in within that, that age indication, it, it is still not considered, it, we will be still, use in pregnant women will still be considered off-label. 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 Just can you, bring that, can you bring up that last image? Is it possible? Can they, well, just, just play them really quick without sound or something so you can see. I'm not lying. I'm sitting right behind that guy. You can see me right in the video. When we cut to him, I think that's the wrong video. Is, it, is that still him? Oh, there are, yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm sitting right behind him. I'm in the room. There we go. But that's why, when we were sitting there, that's what, that's, this is where we get the ideas for our lawsuits. We were sitting there saying, wait a minute. Did one of the top officials at the CDC just say that use of vaccines in pregnant women is an off-label usage? Why would that be? And by the way, it would be illegal for a vaccine maker to put up a poster that says you should use this product knowing it's an off-label usage. Only a government agency could get away with that. Only a government agency could get away with that. So we sued the FDA. We started out with FOIA requests against the FDA and said, we'd like to see the trials. We left that meeting, we went and we started a lawsuit. We'd like to see the trials of Tdap vaccine and flu vaccine in pregnant women that determined when you put up posters saying you're doing the best thing for your baby by getting these vaccines, where are the trials that you did that said that would be safe? In a fetus, because we know an antigen is different in a grandparent now and a child, what about that fetus? They fought us, they pushed back, and this one we settled because they finally admitted. We said, we will settle this case and walk out of here if you admit. And what they said is, we can't find any information. We have no records responsive to your request. We cannot provide a single record of a trial that had a pregnant woman involved in it. And that's how these government agencies are working.